So uh, I ran down to bait this morning. They had the new Calabasas pants. Like my entire morning is questions about the Calabasas pants. So real quick before I start drawing for the day, I decided to give you guys the rundown. I'm wearing the black pair. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then this is the other pair, the whatever gray they were calling it. One said wolf gray or something. Wolf. So here, all right, so here they are. So there are differences between this pair. Let's say the last pair. Main difference is the material. So material wise, the old pair are 100% nylon, much thicker weight heavier weight, the less slick material altogether. The new pair is 100% polyester. A lot more like a track pant, it's lighter, it's definitely like breezier, I would say. It just doesn't have that same weight to it. Uh, this pair also has a drawstring. Uh, last pairs did not have a drawstring and they will fall right off of you. The weight of the pants and like a cell phone in your pocket, it's a wrap. That's an improvement, I would say. Overall, it looks like maybe like quality wise, there's some like, like nicer stuff like the stripe material looks, I don't know, these are all flat. You know, on the red ones, they're all like super flattened out. It's, they uh, have like a little bit of a shape to them. So they've improved that just a little bit. Just like slight improvements. The, the vinyling looks just thinner. I don't that could just also be the material underneath it. One thing that you just really notice is um, the difference in the slickness once you put them on. You have like the maroon pair, the solid black pair. You'll just notice it's a little scratchy when you put it on. It's not necessarily smooth against your skin. This material is just slicker. It's a lot more. As far as fit goes, you know, I think that these are supposed to fit. I was saying like genie pants or like emperor pants. You know, you're supposed to kind of pull them up and then scrunch them down. Like everything's kind of scrunched. Kind of the pant reducing the pant down to this sort of the vibe of these pants so what you do with sizing depends on that i'm an extra large in almost everything i went with extra large and yes they're a little baggy i could wear a large like if i had to go to a school dance and had to borrow my friend's pair i could wear a large extra large is fine too like if you're wanting a slim tight fit then yes you are going to want to size down if you want a tapered look because the pant doesn't taper you're going to want to size down just to achieve what you're looking for in mind that pant wasn't designed for that fit so you know you're kind of just compensating at that point as far as price goes they're 120 dollars retail which a lot of people say is too expensive i don't really know honestly because buy a 40 dollar pair of joggers they're gonna fall apart i don't think that i have any joggers that i wear that were less than 80 to 100 bucks that have stood up the test of time i'm trying to think if there's any like anything that i have that was like 30 40 bucks from adidas has just fallen apart i have two pairs of these and the only reason i bought a second pair is because i burnt a hole in the other ones with a joint but these have held up pretty good like you know some people say that their um calabasas logo is cracking on them mine is a little bit but it's not like some cracking but it's not crazy i, I don't I, it's hard to value is value value is what it is to you 120 dollars for a pair of pants to me doesn't seem that crazy but also all i ever hear is my mother complaining and father complaining about the prices of everything in my head. You know, they used to think $20 for a t-shirt was a lot of money. It's dependent on you and your budget. I do like the pant. I like the way they fit. I like the hang. I think the fit is fairly similar. I think that these fit a little bit longer and that the hang in the leg, it kind of hugs down your leg and then scrunches down your leg a little more. Drawstring, new material, price is 120. They're still for sale, which I think that these companies should stop doing fucking raffles for stuff when they know they've produced enough of it for it to, you know, not sell out instantly. They just let people buy it. Now, I don't know if Adidas sells a general release pant that is similar to this, that is maybe half price or something like that. I'd be ignorant to that. I'm not sure. As far as joggers in my rotation, things like that, the Calabasas, they, they get worn. And I'm glad we got new colors and I'm glad they made improvements. And I guess I'm definitely glad that they have a drawstring. These were made in the Philippines. The old ones are definitely made somewhere else. I remember reading that a long time ago. Yeah, these were made in El Salvador. There you go. These have an RFID chip as well. You can see where your pants have gone. Yeah, after trying them both on again, definitely, definitely longer. That's your big difference. The weight, the material, the length, bagginess is probably, I would say at least the same, if not a little baggier. <clears throat> Probably unplug that. There you go, guys. That's how the Calabasas fit. You've been thinking about buying and you don't know what to buy. Hopefully that helps. I'd say skinny boys probably gonna want to size down. Big boys probably wanna go true to size. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace. We're essentially